Hi, Josh Sinners here. If you're a crash plan user, the, today is October 23rd, 2018. As of October 22nd, 2018, crash plan is no longer available for consumer backup. So if, if that's where you've been storing your online backup, uh, hopefully you've gotten some error messages or some kind of notice, but notice that <laughs> that, that doesn't work anymore. Uh, they, in fact, I think they deleted the backups and everything. Now, I know some people moved on to a crash plan business plan. They're very loyal to crash plan. But now for me personally, I have, uh, I've been off crash plan for a while. I tried it for one year uh, based on some strong recommendations from people I knew, but I, I found the performance to be really bad. The Java based client just, uh, just wasn't very good. And I mean, it has had some advantages. Like you could back up to a friend's computer, things like that. You didn't have to use the cloud based service, which is probably why that service is dead because none of people are paying for it. But for the past few years, I've been using a service called Backblaze. Now, uh, if you look down in the description, I have a uh, link that uh, if you use that, you will get a free month of Backblaze. Um, so, you know, it's beneficial for you to use that link to sign up. I also will get a free month. So uh, it's, it's great for everyone involved. Now, I've been using Backblaze and I've been paying for it for years. I, I like the simplicity. I like how optimized the Mac client is. It's not some weird Java based thing. It's native. It doesn't consume just a ton of system resources, uh, unlike some of these other cloud-based backup services. Now, uh, I recommend three different kinds of backups for every computer. Um, the first, and uh, this is from a Mac-based perspective, of course, but I do recommend the use of Time Machine if you're an Apple user. Uh, something that does, uh, what well, Time Machine, basically it's like a versioning system. It versions uh, different copies of your files. So if you make an edit you don't want, it's easy to revert. So Time Machine is a great thing. I think Windows has something similar. I'm sure there's something similar in Linux. The second kind of backup I recommend is a bootable backup. That's where you just you, you clone your entire drive to another drive and, and set and make just an exact duplicate. And the reason you want that is in case uh, your main drive goes kaput. This is especially true on, on Macs because they have hard drives that are hard to replace. So you want to be able to just boot up from that USB drive and uh, get right back to work. It saves you a lot of time. Uh, now, the third kind of backup I recommend is some sort of offsite backup. Now, what a lot of people will do is back up to an external drive and then store that in a safety deposit box or somewhere offsite. That's perfectly fine to do, but it is a lot of trouble. So, for me personally, I like to use a cloud based backup like Backblaze. And, and the reason you want that offsite backup is in case, uh, you know, a storm takes down your house, like I live in tornado country. That, Tornado destroying this house is a very real possibility. Uh, if you live in a hurricane or flood area, uh, if you get burgled and someone steals all your drives and all your computers, uh, you could lose all your data. You want to have some kind of offsite backup. Uh, the initial backup process is kind of painful, but after that, it's just you know just an ongoing thing. It uploads a little bit at a time, uh, really not noticeable. One of the things I love about Backblaze is that it also supports, uh, you can back up your external drives attached to your computer. I have about eight terabytes of data attached to this iMac through USB and it backs up all of that no problem so uh, you know there's a lot of data stored and just just remember if uh, you want to have a backup of everything on your computer and you want to have a backup of everything on your external drives a lot of people forget to back up their external drives but it's so important to do that because if a drive goes bad it happens all the time I had to replace a Western Digital Drive recently uh, all that data, all, all, all that data would have been gone. But fortunately, I have two backups for my external drives. I have another drive that I mirror them to every night, and then I also use Backblaze. So I have two backups for my external drives. I have three backups for my iMac here. So I never have to worry about data loss. I never have to worry about my photos going missing or anything else. I highly recommend you have a similar system, and Backblaze can help you with that. It can at least help with the offsite backup. It does do some versioning, but only back to about 30 days. And it doesn't back up your applications folder. There, there, are, there are some small catches to Backblaze, but I think for 50 bucks a year, and for how simple it is, it's a very good service. Um, if you want something a little more advanced on the Mac, there's a app called Arc, A-R-Q, and it can be used with Amazon S3, uh, various cloud storage solutions. I think that's a little too advanced for most people, and it's also typically going to be more expensive than just a basic Backblaze account. So uh, if, if, you, if you're not getting a backup yet, your external drives aren't being backed up, you don't, you don't have an offsite backup, please use that link below, 
sign up for Backblaze, get yourself a free month. Uh, it's totally worth it. 50 bucks a year. I personally write it off my taxes. It's some of the cheapest insurance you're ever going to pay. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, if this video helped you, be sure to like and subscribe.